hello believers you are highly welcome in this channel for those one who are new and uh, mr to uh today i'm with you uh specifically to share with you the word of god yeah um what i realize is that what i came to know what i realized in my life is that so many people are struggling with their sin okay yeah people are struggling with their sin even me before i was like that i used to struggle with my sin a lot but i realized also i got to know that god has set us free okay god has set us free but the devil is still keeping us in captive yeah unsurprisingly even in many churches uh, people still also preach the message of, of captivity okay the message of chain the message that keeps you bondage keeps you in bondage yeah like what do i mean by such a message such a message are the messages of of trying to please god trying to do good things to please god and also trying to follow the like following the ten commandments the law of god there are still churches that preaches about those things following the law of God, Ten Commandments, uh, do good to please God. And uh, if you don't do all those things, if you don't do good to please God, then God is going to going to burn you in hellfire. You are going dark, you will be tormented for eternal life in hell. And also if you break the law, you are going to be tormented and so many more. All those are crap, okay? All those are crap. The Bible doesn't, teach about those things okay it those things were only of those days in the genealogy of moses noah and another kings and the prophets of those days but then in this genealogy of jesus christ we no longer have those things so we are free in christ and then we only have to walk and imit and we walk in spirit and imitate the way of jesus christ not Imitating the way of Jesus Christ doesn't necessarily mean that and then you are going to go to heaven. No. Imitating the way of Jesus as a believer, it is simply it simply brings peace between human, among us, human beings, human to human, bring peace, bring harmony, and also glorify the kingdom of God. Okay? But not to show that you are the best person in the world. No, no one is the best and no one is good. So then, um, but today I want to share with you in the book of Genesis about the heart of God toward mankind. What God thinks about you and what God wants you to know and what God wants you to be like. Okay? Yes. God wants you to be like a free bird. If you catch a bird and then you put in a cage, this bird has a limited space. This bird is limited. It has no strength. It has no ability to do anything. It is a suffering bird. Unfortunately, some people are still like that up to, to date. But when God has set you free, you can fly. You can celebrate. You can have peace. You can respect him. You can love him. But you cannot fear him because he's your father. You can't fear your father. But you're always in him, swimming in him, having love, enjoying. Yes, but unfortunately today, there are still churches that teach preachers about fearing God. God doesn't want you to fear him. God wants you to love him, respect him, and listen to him at all if you are influenced by the Holy Spirit. Okay? Yeah. Then... Uh, just let us see in the book of Genesis chapter Genesis chapter 3. This is what I want this channel to keep doing, okay? This is what I want this channel now to keep doing. Let's live alone English now for now. But still, my my head keeps my head keeps blah, 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 blah. preaching this channel, do English there, preach here, do English here. No, not there, here. So, I don't want to mix content in this channel. And I pray that God should give me the grace and the ability not to mix any content. But just preach, preach, preach. And save souls, 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 souls. 
okay i thank god that i was also in a school of theology and he taught me a lot about him genesis chapter 3 i'm gonna read it okay yeah i'm gonna read it completely well let's start from verse 1 now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the lord god had made and he said to a woman has god indeed said you shall not eat of every tree of the garden and the woman said to the serpent we may eat the the fruit of the tree of the garden but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden god said you sh you shall not eat it nor shall you touch it lest you die that is not the word of the woman but the serpent asked the woman but then the, the woman replied why did the serpent approach the man okay why did the serpent approach adam there's a reason behind that okay Yes, there's a very big reason behind that. Simply because a woman probably is easier to handle, easier to deal with. Since the serpent was much more cunning than all the beasts in the world. Okay? Yeah, then the, the woman replied, the serpent, that way. Uh, okay, let us continue. Uh, verse 4. Then the serpent said to the woman, you shall not surely die, for God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be open and you'll be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw, saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eye and the tree desirable to make one wise, she took of it fruit and ate. She also gave to her husband with her and she ate. The woman gave the husband the fruit and he also ate. Okay? That is why nowadays in people's family, okay, women normally influence their husband, even in marriages, okay? Women normally influence their husband. Yes? And then when he ate, then... The eyes of both of them were open, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves a covering. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his, wives, his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among trees, among the trees of their garden. Then the Lord God called Adam and said to him, Where are you? Okay. And then he said, He said, Where are you? So he said, I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. Okay. Yes. And then he said, Who told you that you are, is it that you are naked? You, have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you that you should not eat? Then the woman, then the man said, The woman whom you gave to be my wife, she gave me of a tree and ate. Okay? Yes, just reporting Eve to God. Yes? Then the man, uh, um, and then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, the serpent deceived me, and I ate. The serpent deceived me, and I ate. So, Adam was only able to give an excuse instead of confessing before God, okay? That's the heart of man. We normally like to accuse each other, okay? We like to accuse each other instead of acknowledging your weaknesses, acknowledging your mistakes. And then apologize to the person. Okay? And so Adam was not able to do that before God. Had he acknowledged that they have committed wrong when God asked him? And then he apologizes or he confesses before God. I believe that God was going to do something else to them. Okay? Yes. Now, because of their weaknesses, and so we are also wicked 
just like them so here when you see in uh in verse 5 for god knows that in that in the day you eat of it your eyes will be open and you'll be like god knowing knowing good and evil indeed we have already known good and evil because of adam and eve but before they ate the forbidden fruit they did not know any good and evil okay they knew good and evil just after they ate the fruit and so satan used that tactic because it knows how human flesh are it knows our flesh it knows our body it knows our our mind it knows that we want good things okay the desire of the flesh that's what i'm talking about the satan used the desire human being wants to know good things okay they want to be smarter they want to be wiser okay by then adam and eve they were not that wise but then when she had the serpent saying that they are going, going to be wise they're going to know good and evil okay then she accepted to eat it and then their mind came to the acknowledgement of wisdom knowing the good and evil okay then 14 so the lord god said to the serpent because you have done this you are cast you are cast did the, did god cast adam and eve no he didn't cast them he cast the the serpent you are cast more than all cattle and more than every beast of the field on your belly you shall go and you shall eat dust all the days of your life and i will put enmity between you and the woman and between yours your seeds and her seeds he shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel to the woman he said i will greatly multiply your sorrow but he didn't say i will curse you he didn't say he will curse the woman he will just multiply her sorrow and your conception in pain you shall bring forth children your desire shall be for your husband and he shall rule over you her desire shall be for her husband and the husband will rule all over her but to the modern world women are ruling all over men are ruling are, are ruling on men okay so as you have seen also when the devil deceived them until now the same pattern is running on until today the world is ruled by the devil and the devil are trying to implement their policies to the people of the world that's why now there's this policy of women uh being uh equal to men but biblically women are not equal to men okay yes we all have same rights men and women we have same rights but in terms of equality that is the agenda of the devil okay yes women are human men are also a human being okay but it simply doesn't necessarily mean that we are equal because when we are when a woman is equal to a man and then it means that in marriage there is no dominion there is no guider okay and then when there is no someone to guide in marriage that that is a failed marriage okay but apart from that let us maybe that topic will be for another day but let us just continue now yeah but the bible is very clear okay a man shall rule over a woman but nowadays if you talk of a man ruling all of, no, or a, a, a man ruling over a woman it is a big problem in this modern world they want to rule each other okay a woman wants to rule a man a man wants to rule a woman which is very wrong okay yes then to adam he said because you have heeded the voice of your wife uh, and have eaten from the tree of which i command you i commanded you saying you shall not eat of it curse is the ground however my the lord was very angry with them for disobeying him he took his anger and cast the ground he cast the serpent he cast the ground but he didn't cast 
Adam and Eve because they are his children. Okay, he made them with his sweat, with his hands. Therefore, he cannot curse them. However, in some churches, they can say that God cursed human being. God never cursed man. God never cursed Adam and Eve. God never cursed you. God never cursed me. God never cursed anybody. Okay? But he cursed the ground and the serpent. But instead, he also blessed them. Let us continue and see that blessing. Yes, uh, curse is the ground for your sake. In toil, you shall eat of it all the day of your life. Both thorns and thistle, thorns and thistles, it shall bring forth for you, and you shall eat the herbs of the field. Sun and thistle will produce them food. And that's why up to nowadays, you eat the fruits, because those fruits come from the thorns and thistles. Okay? Yes, they bless them with food as well. Yeah? In the sweat of your face, you shall eat bread till you, you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken, for thus you are, and to thus you shall, to thus you shall return. Then Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was a mother of all living things. Yeah, they disobeyed God, but they, they survived. They lived, okay? They lived. They had the voice of the Satan. Although God made them, but they went with Satan. That's why the book of John chapter 8 verse 44 it says that you are of your father, the devil, because the origin of man is from God. But also, we went with the devil who didn't make us. And then the devil also now became the second father of human being. That's why the devil is ruling the world. Okay, We are of the devil. You are of the devil. I am of the devil okay that's why we do bad things today i'm preaching the gospel but tomorrow you may you may hear that oh i killed because i have two sides you have two sides you have god side and then the devil side adam and eve also had god side but also they had the side of the devil as well the pattern continues okay now it means that when you and i die we are supposed to go to hell fire all of us, we are supposed to perish. Okay? Yes. But did Adam and Eve perish? No, they didn't perish. And so, the good news is, you will also not perish. Because Adam and Eve didn't perish. But you can only perish on one condition. If you don't believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes? Uh, okay, let us finish. Verse 21. Also for Adam and his wife, the Lord God made a tunic of skin and clothed them. This is the most, most important part. Let us stop in verse 21. The Lord made a tunic skin and clothed them. Let me hope that you can see. Okay. The Lord made a tunic skin and he clothed them. But at first, they were making the fig leaves for them selves okay yeah when their eyes open they made the fig leaves i already read it here yes here in verse 7 then the eyes of of both adam and no, then the eyes of both of them were open and they made eh? and they knew that they were naked and they sue the fig leaves. That is in verse 7. But then in in verse 21 is saying for also for Adam and his wife the Lord God made for them a tunic skin. Okay? Verse 7 and verse 21 saying similar things. Just go to help them in 21. But in verse 7 they were struggling. Okay? Genesis chapter 3 verse 7 Adam and Eve were struggling to cover themselves, okay? They were suffering. But then in verse 21, God helped them from struggling. God covered them with a tunic skin, yes? The tunic skin 
to be given to them, an animal must die. Okay? God cannot just get the tunic skin from the blue. An animal must die. So then, who or what is that animal that died? That was Jesus Christ. Okay? Yes. This scripture is simply teaching us about salvation. About how you can go to eternal life. How you can have peace and love from and with God. Okay? Yes. God covered them. God killed Jesus Christ and then he was able to cover all of our sins. You, you can see that we disobeyed God all the way from the beginning. We still commit sin until up to, to date. Okay? But can our sin that we commit up to, to date destroy us or lead us to a hellfire? The Bible says no. The Bible says that all of our sins are washed. Okay? We are clean. We are sanctified. When God says that you are clean, then you are clean no matter what you do. When God says that your sins are washed, and then your sins are washed, no matter what you do, okay? Yes, just believe the gospel of God, yes? Um, let us see in the book of Romans chapter 3, verse 23, it says that, For all have sinned, okay? For all have sinned. You have sinned, I have sinned. Adam and Eve have sinned. That is 23. And fall short of the glory of God. We don't have any glory of God. Okay? Yes. And then 24 is saying, being justified freely. Okay? At no cost. By his grace. Okay? Through the redemption that is in Jesus Christ. Adam and Eve sinned. Okay? against God, they disobeyed God, but eventually God justified them freely, okay, through the redemption that is in Jesus Christ, and the Jesus Christ is the tunic skin that God made for them, okay, yes, yeah, the tunic skin that God made for them, and he covered them with Jesus Christ, and so you are also covered with Jesus Christ. Okay? When Jesus came in this world, John the Baptist was able to baptize him. He transferred all of your sins. He transferred all the sins of the world on Jesus Christ. And then he died on the cross. And the tunic skin was taken from him. And they used it for covering you. The tunic skin simply is the blood of Jesus. And God used it for covering you. For covering your sins. But, your sins are only covered when you believe but if you don't believe and then you remain naked just like Adam and Eve before Adam and Eve before they were naked and so if you don't believe you are naked and when God sees your nakedness which is the sin he became so angry and disappointed with you and that can lead to your destruction in hellfire but if you believe in the tunic skin in the blood that covered away your sins, and then you will not be cast, just like Adam and Eve were not cast. Yes? Unfortunately, today, the world of nowadays, the world of today, they teach you that do good to go to heaven, follow the law to go to heaven, repent your sins and go to heaven, confess your sins and go to heaven. But even they don't know what confession is and repentance is. Okay? But that will be a topic of another day. Confession and repentance. Okay? Yeah. But they are teaching false message, false gospel. But the Bible always remains clear. We cannot go to heaven on our own. But we can go to heaven through the help of the Almighty God, of which he used Jesus Christ. That's why the Bible says that Jesus Christ is the bridge, is the only way to God. There's no way you can get to God without Christ. Okay? He used Jesus Christ to cover you, to bridge you and him, to bridge you to him. Okay? Adam and Eve, before they were making fig leaves, okay? They could make these fig leaves and then it dries away. Because leaves normally dry, okay? Leaves normally 
dry. They make, they cover themselves, it dries away. And so you, when you try to go to heaven using your own works or your own deeds, you are just the same like Adam and Eve making the fig leaves. Okay? Because your good works fades away. Okay? Your good work fades. Today you can do good to someone, but tomorrow if you do bad to that same person, just when you have done good, they'll forget the good and they'll deal with you according to the bad. They'll even take you to court, forgetting that you have done to them the good. So our good works are not good enough, are not strong enough. Okay? Therefore, we should only rely on what God has done for us. Just like the fig leaves of Adam and Eve were drying, drying, but God came and intervened and covered them permanently with the tunic skin. And so you are permanently covered. Leave away your, your, what? your fig leaves, which are your good works. Leave them alone. Okay? Just focus on the tunic skin. Okay? Which is Christ. And then you will be saved. And I will see you in heaven. Okay? Ciao. May God bless you and protect you forever.